If your mini split is like ours, you actually have a heat pump, so you use it year round for heating and cooling. It's fall right now, but fall or spring, you want to check the refrigerant charge in your mini split. I'm going to show you how to do that. Hey, here's a quick video on checking your mini split refrigerant level. First thing you want to do is use a 5 16th socket that I have right there and remove the side panel of your mini split. Actually on this particular mini split, which is an LG model, you don't need to remove the side panel. You can check your charge without doing that, but I'm removing the side panel so you guys can see more easily what's going on. I'm just gonna set the side panel over here. And what I'm gonna do then is go to the top valve. There's two valves. There's a larger valve for gas and there's a smaller valve. You can see it below that gray pipe there for liquid. The top valve is what you're gonna to use to check your pressure. So we're gonna remove this cap here. It's just on there hand tight. And underneath it is a larger Schrader valve, similar to a valve you would see in a tire, a car tire. And you can see it right there. And that's where we're gonna place the blue hose gauge or the blue hose that will attach to the gauge. And I'm using a 17 millimeter um, open-ended socket or closed end of the socket to get that cap off. Here's the adapter. You need an adapter for mini splits. So that adapter, which is only about 10 bucks, screws onto that Schrader valve. And then the end of the blue hose will screw on to the other end. And I'll place the blue hose onto it. And then of course the other end is going to attach the, to the gauges. So now we've got our gauges in place and Notice that this is at 222, 223 PSI. That is with the compressor not running, all right? Make sure that it's not running when you first check. Now we've got it running. We turned everything on inside. I have two units working inside. And you can see I've got a still shot here, but the PSI reading is right around 125, 126. It'll drop a little lower as it runs a little longer. Ideally for this particular model, LG mini split compressor, you want about 118 to 120 PSI. Now 118 to 120 PSI is the ideal manufacturer's recommended PSI for our particular LG mini split compressor, which you see right there. But check the specs on your mini split Make sure you've got the right PSI, make sure you've got the right numbers to uh, go by. At any rate, charged up and ready to go. Your mini split can keep you comfortable year round, whether it's for cooling in the summer or heating in the winter. Hope this helped you. If it did, please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos.